This is a good follow-up video for one that I just made on how to save out the different layers needed for your materials in Adobe Dimension. In this video, we're going to look at taking this another step and creating a .mdl file, which is what the 3D softwares normally use for materials. If you followed along in the last video, we created our base layer, a black layer for the metallic, a normal layer, and a roughness or bump map. Let's look at how to get to Adobe Dimensions resources and their library. So if you're on a Mac, I'll make a new tab. Go to your hard disk. Applications, Adobe Dimension, and you're going to right click on the application and show package contents. Next, you're going to go to contents, resources, common, scene assets, materials, and here are some presets and the MDL files, which are organized into folders. So what I did was I just looked at a few of these different ones and how they were structured. Oftentimes they had the MDL and a PNG thumbnail. I ended up duplicating denim as a test. So if we look at this structure here, inside denim we have another denim folder with the normal and base color and take note of the naming convention. The .mdl is actually a script file. You can open it with a code editor or just a regular text edit. Let's go ahead and duplicate this folder. You will need to enter your password. I'm going to drag this into the main folder and let's call this cork. Next, go to where your assets were created, and we're just going to copy both of our files, and we're going to rename them so they're consistent, which uses an underscore, and because what I'm going to do is a find and replace. And I did go ahead and make a thumbnail. And I just took one of the other thumbnail images into Photoshop and made a sphere with the 3D and just saved it out as a PNG file. I'm going to copy that into my folder. And we're going to open up, this is the one we've duplicated, so we're okay to change this. I'm going to open it in my code editor so I can do a find and replace easily. So what I'm looking for, if you browse through the code, you'll see that they're calling the denim folder and inside the images for the base color and the normal. I'm just doing a find and replace on all of those, making sure they're consistent. 
I'll just do a save. So now we have .mdl, cork, and all of our assets. Now, unfortunately, Adobe Dimensions doesn't load with our new material. So we can copy that entire folder like I have right here, or just navigate to it as we get into the program. If we go to materials, we don't see our new material. You could add it to your Creative Cloud library if you wanted. Let's just place a model in to apply the material. And we're going to go to File, Import, Place Material on Selection. And you're going to navigate to where your new material is and select the MDL. And if you, we look at the right properties, you'll see it's added our images respectively to the base color, interior, and normals. So if you have any other layers for metallic or roughness, if you look at another example that maybe has those, you can also make it another level more complex. And as in the last video, if you want to decrease or increase the scale of the texture, you can just change the repeat. So that is how you create a .mdl for Adobe Dimension. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.